All right, today we've got a bunch of weird and kind of like unusual lures, stuff that people typically wouldn't use in the salt water. And we've got a bit of a challenge on today. So the challenge is to try and catch as many fish on these weird lures, but I have to change after I catch a fish on one. So we're gonna try and tick off as many as possible. If we can do them all, that'd be amazing, but I don't think it's gonna be easy. And because we've got a little bit of wind up today, we're gonna to start fishing this little mangrove creek here while we've got the tide to do it. And we're starting off with, I'd say it's probably the easiest lure out of the bunch to catch a fish on. This is the drunken mullet from the guys at Chase Baits. It's kind of like a, it's a jointed prop bait. Uh, if you've been watching the channel for a while, you would have seen me use this before. We're gonna tick this one off to um, get on the board and then we're gonna move into some of the more challenging ones. Let's just see how this, Things swimming at the moment. Oh yeah, looking good. All right, so basically I'm gonna be pitching lures into the mangroves along here, hoping for a mangrove jack, but today we'll take buddy anything on these lures. Oh yeah, oh damn, that was a jack. I saw him come out and eat it, just didn't hook up. See if he'll come back. Wow, what a rude guy. I'm hearing a bit of action going on in the mangoes. There's definitely fish in here feeding. The bloody midges are getting me quite a bit. You definitely need to keep a bit of this on hand at all times in these mangrove creeks up here. <laughs> it's a little barra. Oh no, he got off. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god. No way. Oh, there's a groper trying to eat him. Bro, 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 bro. <laughs> Look at this cod. This cod's trying to eat him. <laughs> Come here! <laughs> oh my god. That was the wildest little thing that just happened. I had a bite from I don't even know what, missed it. Saw a jack sitting there. As I'm looking at the jack, a barra comes and boops my lure. Obviously he saw me, I jumped him off. And after I jumped him off, I saw there was a jack sitting there as well. So I just slapped the lure just past the jack. And then, like, the jack hits it, misses it, and then a little, this little trevally comes and smokes it. And then a, a big cottage is sitting there trying to eat the trevally. Jesus, like, <laughs> that was such a wild little thing. Well, it's definitely not the target species or anything like that, but it's one lure completed to the challenge. Just a baby little GT, but something. Now we can just snip this off. Oh, jeez. Nearly went in the water. So that one's done, and we tie on the next one. I think, um, I think the lizard. I think go on top water first while we're still got a little bit of low light. Sun hasn't really peaked yet. I think top water lure will be the go to get off the board. This is the frill seeker here. So it's a jointed wake bait lizard imitation, pretty funky little thing. Yeah, look at it swim. That's a pretty cool little thing. It gets super skinny in some of these little mangrove creeks. Barely going to be able to get the boat through. Oh, here comes a fish. It's a brim. Whoa. Yeah, this is the um, super skinny stuff in here. A bit sketchy through here in the new boat. Gonna scratch, scratch up some paint. Whoa. That's why we bought a tinny. 
<laughs> Look at that, just squeezing through. Has a brim rod on it. Oh, eat it. Oh, oh, he's trying so hard. Wow. Oh yeah, we're in like no water here. I need to turn around before we get stuck for a very long time. We'll head back out the creek, and uh, there's a couple other ones we can check out as well. But I'll still fish on the way back. Oh, yep. Oh, no. No. Uh, oh, got him. Oh. oh, he's throwing me through the tree. Yes, got him. Oh. He's actually not a bad jack. I kind of want to net him. Just in case. Come on. Come on, little buddy. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Hit it the first time, didn't hook up, threw back in there. Wasn't a big explosion, but he um, he definitely ate it. There we go. How cool is that? Little mangrove jack there on the lizard. Not the biggest fish, but he actually fought pretty well for his size. And that's two bloody lures off the board. We're not going too bad so far this morning. Really cool. Uh, we'll get him unhooked, chuck him back in, and we're on to the next one. Mm. I'm unhooked, and Mango Jack's one of the fastest fish going, so we'll try to be gentle. I was going to say we'll try to be gentle, but I didn't think that was going to happen. But anyway, lizard done. Off, chuck that in the completed pile. And then I was a bit scared to do this, but since we're going okay on the top water to start, we're going to tie on what to me is, let's say, like in my head, it might be the hardest one to catch a fish on, but I've still got confidence that it's going to work. Sticking with the top water theme, just tied on. This is the the budgie right here, the smuggler. Little bird budgie imitation, pretty funky, cool little thing. Like the action on these is crazy. Like it's look at it. It's very aggressive, very violent action. I'm hoping it's just annoying enough to a jack that he just goes, you know what, I'm just going to hit this. Not that I eat birds normally, but I'm just going to hit it because it's annoying me. And that'll be his undoing. That's the plan anyway. All right, no more nibs in that creek. Bird lives on for another day. But we've got a couple more creeks to check out along the coast here. So we're going to make the move, see if we can get it done in them with the bird. Alrighty, just pulling up in creek number two now. Hopefully this is the um, this is the one we can get it done with the bird. How's this mullet squad? The boys. They're gonna shit themselves and see me. Hello? Oh, maybe not. Oh, yeah, there they go. I've fished literally like this entire creek with the budgie and not even a looker. Uh, we might change on the way back, so just so we're fishing something different on the way back. So I'll try to tick off a different one. This one goes back in the undone pile and then we'll use something else for a little bit and tie on mud bug right here it's a little um crawfish imitation i guess wow can't believe how dead this creek was yeah it's very surprising after the first one was pretty active it's all right though we've got i think one more to hit before we have to um get out and do some different stuff hopefully we can get one two one or two lures ticked off in here. That would be great. Some good looking stick piles here at the front of this creek. Surely there's something hanging in there. Oh, what are these things? Oh, oh, shit. 
Oh. I was looking at these fish over here and just got eaten. Finally a fish. It's been a while between bites here. Make sure we get this guy, get the net on him. There we go. Cod on the board. There you go. Nice little cod there. As you can see, mud bug in its mouth. That's a lure number three done. We're um, we're traveling okay. We might actually be able to get this challenge done. Hooks out. These guys are pretty feisty. Take straight off. Ooh, see ya. But have a look at this thing you just threw up. Just about live this thing. Ooh, little crab. <laughs> look at this guy. Poor fella. Yeah, mate. That means mud bug can come off, go into the completed pile. And what do we try now? Uh, honestly, might try the rat. Might try this bad boy. All right, we've got this little thing right here. It's a rat kind of imitation, weedless setup at the back there to an extent. I've no, I don't think I've really ever used a rat lure before. I don't even know how to fish one. We'll try. We'll see what we can do. Oh no, it does walk the dog. Look at that. This may just work. How's this turtle? Just cruising. Hi. See you, mate. Oh, damn it. Can't even see under there. Oh, there was a fish following it. Wow. Oh, cod coming out. Oh, to spook the absolute. Oh, yes. Oh, come here, come here. Yes. <laughs> we got it. I spooked the crap out of something else, but we got a fish on the rat. We'll get him unhooked quickly. There we go. It's going to be one of the smallest jacks I've ever caught, but it counts. It's a fish. See you, matey. Never been so happy to catch such a small jack. That means the rat is done. While we fish the rest of the creek, I'm going to try again with the bird. So we'll throw this for a little bit. There's yeah, there's only a little bit left of the creek to fish even. So we're only two lures away now. Oh, oh, I wasn't looking. I wasn't looking. Oh, I was dodging this tree here. Oh. Oh, he's actually smoked it too. No way. Come here. Come here. Yes. <laughs> well, after a good few hours, we've managed to bloody do it. Whoa. That last little jack, never been so stoked to catch a little jack. This cod right here, never been so stoked to catch a cod in general. Because we've finally done it down the hatch. It's the, um, the smuggler. The little budgie lure finally got the nibs and it was fun too i was i was looking away looking like trying to dodge under a tree but uh and i think i was just sitting the lure there and he came and just engulfed it pretty cool we've only got bloody one lure left now one lure left stop shaking oh there you go see you matey oh he spat up a little crab too look at the size of this guy this feels bloody great now we get to actually snip off the budgie. Finally got it done into the pile. And we've got the very last lure here. And this right here is the prop duster. So it's a it's a glide bait, but it's got this little um, prop blade in the middle. It sends off vibration and flash and that kind of thing. It's 
a little bit unusual. I have the, used these before on some like freshwater, uh, like, like lake barramundi and stuff, but um, haven't really thrown it much in the um, in the salt water. I'm excited. We're nearly we've nearly done this challenge. One more fish to catch. No fish on the glide bait in the creek. We had one little strike, but that was about it. So we're going to try and move somewhere else, but we've got one issue. The um, tide has really run out and um, I may have left it a little bit late to try and get out of the creek. I don't know how well you can see here, but we are in basically what I'd say is probably 200 mil of water. Fingers crossed we can actually get out of here because if we get stuck here, we're going to be here for about oh i'd say about six hours so um definitely don't want to do that i should definitely have done a better job at keeping track of the time so i didn't get too late with the tide but here we are all right i think we've made it to where it's deep enough i can drive out we we just barely made that there's some rocks just over here uh along the coastline we're going to throw the glide bait on and um yeah hopefully we can catch a fish there pretty cool looking zone this No way, I've got a fish. What? No. <laughs> no way, it had to be. Oh, we've bloody done it with a hexi. Unbloody real. The uh, glide bait was proven, whoa, was proven much harder than I anticipated, but. We caught a fish. Might not be a prize fish by any means, but it's a fish. Which uh, means, it means we've bloody completed the challenge. Six very, you know, unusual kind of lures for um, saltwater fishing. We caught a fish on every single one of them and I had fun doing it. You know, I can come out here and use the most effective lures that I know and that kind of thing and just catch plenty of fish, but it was actually a real challenge to catch fish on some of these lures in the salt water here today, but we got it done. Now, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and also leave a comment down below if you've got any other challenges you want me to have a crack at. I'll read through all the comments and we may even try one or two of them. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Peace.